Greetings to one and all, it's your old buddy Jay here coming at you with a little bit more countermeasures goodness, another game changer. Um, this one is about Predator Hunting Grounds, which I know has been out for a little while now, but is a uh, secret favourite of mine which I keep going back to even though it's not really very good. Um, this game is developed by Ilphonic and published by Sony Interactive for the PS4 and Microsoft Windows. Now it is part of the uh, Predator franchise, uh, officially part of the Predator franchise, so not just like a spin-off like some of the previous games, it is actually all part of the canon uh, allegedly. And um, yeah, like I said, it's not the best game, it is a first person shooter. Um, and the only reason I'm really uh, doing a little review on it is firstly I've got loads of footage um, and secondly uh, I, it is my uh, guilty pleasure. I keep coming back to this game even though it's, um, it's not really that good. Now um, I'm a fan of the old movie, so the old movie starred um, Arnold Schwarzenegger and uh, him and his team were dropped into the jungle to uh, do some kind of covert mission like the, uh, you know, the footage here is kind of repeating uh, that sort of storyline and um, yeah during their mission they come across an alien being that's that's chasing them of course everybody knows the story of the predator I don't know why I'm recapping it but here it is um, and that's basically the uh, the premise of this game you're a team of four you're dropped into uh, the jungle and basically you have a series of uh, small missions to complete like um, destroying a drug lords um, uh, you know a load of drugs that he's got hidden here or um, finding some other intel various stages of, of, um, of that kind of thing um, you have to do that while the predator is hunting you now you play with three other people in your team but there is one person playing as the predator so their job is to basically stop you from extracting at the end so stop you from finishing your mission and stop you from extracting now the four players can quite i've played some of these games where i've just gone through the whole thing done the intel stuff got to the end, got on the chopper and flown off and the Predator's not even rocked up because maybe the person who's playing as the Predator, is, predator isn't that experienced and can't track you very well etc. Um, and then I've played other games where um, in the first 30 seconds the some dudes turned up as the Predator and absolutely destroyed everybody. So it is a bit hit and miss depending on um, the, you know, the level of experience of the individual players. Um, but that's what I think I quite like about it is because it's totally random. It's you know the, the the actual gameplay part where you're doing all the, the little sort of flicking the switches and picking up items etc um, is a bit repetitive and boring but what's interesting is that the predator can turn up at any time um, so it could be uh, at the start like I said or it could be in the middle at the end they can just turn up have a go at your team and then disappear and, and kind of heal themselves and then keep coming back and, and attacking you and they're obviously overpowered like this big alien species would be um, and I find it quite interesting um, now um, yeah so basically uh, your team just go around doing all these little missions you can you can run off and do a solo thing if you want you can just do you know a whole load of it by yourself while your team's trying to sort of work together but I wouldn't recommend that because the one thing the predator can do is track you in a way that shows the people who are separate from their team and they stand a much better oh here he is look I'm gonna go one of them. Um, they stand a much better chance of winning as the predator if they take out um, you know each of you one by one whereas if you're together while he's attacking one person the other team can be attacking him um, and he is actually Actually easier to take down than you think. Um, he is hardcore one-on-one -on -one, but when there's a team of you shooting and throwing hand grenades etc um, it is quite uh, tough for the Predator to actually win in that so it's better for him to kind of attack and run off and keep coming back and attacking you. Um, he also gets the chance to kind of level up and, and heal etc um, in those moments. So the tension is quite high the whole time you're playing this game and I think that's what I like about it is that you know uh, a bit like kind of Dead by Daylight and um, you know the, the other kind of games. I think there's a Halloween one um, where it's Friday the 13th I think um, you know is is where um, there's one person chasing you and you have a series of missions to do. Um, I think this one feels uh, it feels a little bit more fun 
um, you, you know, you obviously you run around and collect other kind of items to boost your XP and to also give you, um, you know, more assets to play with the, um, you know, the kind of uh, changing outfits and upgrading your weapons at the, the end of each match. Um, and that's something I want to talk about, which is that, you know, uh, usually with these games, they are monetized uh, up through the you know and basically uh, this one isn't so you know you would normally find with a lot of these sort of games that you know you can buy new skins and you can do all this sort of stuff and actually uh, at the step at the time of recording this um, that hasn't been included um, the only thing that I've seen that you can purchase is there is a sort of DLC that you can download the original um, Arnold Schwarzenegger character if you want him to be part of your team or if you want to play as his um, his skin uh, you know, you can uh, you can play with Arnold's skin. Um, you know, you can obviously play as him, which is you know, if you're a fan of the franchise, and that's that's always sort of a fun thing to do. Plus, he says things like "Get to the chopper" and like you know all that sort of stuff. Um, so obviously, my impression is amazing. So yeah, if there are if there's any voice acting work out there, then, you know, people are looking. Give me a call. Um, he also does that, doesn't he? Um, now, I do think that uh, there's unlikely to be a sequel. Uh, it did get very mixed reviews. Um, one of the reviews I read did say it, it is the worst Sony game of this generation and the game is a mess. And I absolutely have to agree with that. Um, but like I said, it's a guilty pleasure. I keep going back to it. I keep wanting to level up my character and I keep wanting to kind of collect these little blue crystals that are around that, that give you, you know, little little bonuses at the end of the game where you can you know buy a beanie or you can buy a pair of cool like ski goggles or um, you know you know all that sort of stuff so I haven't uh, you know I keep coming back to it for, for those reasons really and also just making your character a little bit cooler um, and also being able to upgrade your your weapons so that you know you've got different sights and different lengths of magazines etc um, like I said no microtransactions that I know of I think most of it's all in game um, but one thing that is interesting about this is it's uh, one of the first games that came out that where the PS4 and Microsoft Windows could uh, do crossplay, which for a long time um, has been a kind of point of contention in that, you know, um, you know we didn't want to play with those dirty old PC gamers and vice versa. Um, but now there are more and more games coming out where um, you can do exactly that. And this is, this is one of the first ones that did it, I think. And uh, yeah, and it's been very successful. I mean, uh, you know, there are some games that you play that are cross with, um, you know, uh, Microsoft Windows, and it doesn't work quite so well because, you know, the uh, level of accuracy you can get with a mouse and keyboard on a on a PC compared to your PS4 controller uh, is isn't comparable. So, you know, if it's a, if it's a, a, a sort of PvP, you know, um, a game where you're you know you're playing against other people and they're on PC and you're, you've got a controller, you, there's a chance that you're you know you're slightly handicapped. Whereas with with this game, um, it's totally random and a little bit broken, so the, 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 there is no accuracy particularly, and uh, you know it is a level playing field. Now, um, here I got obviously beaten. I'm just laying on the floor now, just staring at, at the uh, predator, absolutely massacring the rest of my team. Um, so as you can see, oh, he was down there. Yeah. So basically, what happens if you win is that um, you know, his job is to kill all four of you. But if you win, um, he has uh, a couple of options. Uh, he can either just die, and then you can uh, capture him, and that gives you extra XP. Or he has the opportunity to set off his little wrist um, explosives, um, and then that blows up the surrounding area, like in the original film. At the end, of that happens. Spoilers for 1986, isn't it? Um, and yeah, basically, uh, you have the opportunity to disarm that, or you can absolutely leg it, try and save what's left of your team. Uh, you know, getting some XP. So as you can see here, one of our characters actually did escape. I believe, um, I think he was on the chopper, I'm not sure, I uh, can't quite remember if he came up or not, I think he did escape but the rest of us didn't, so that gives us all a little bit of an XP boost. Um, and yeah, I, it's fun and addictive and uh, yeah, I've been getting really into it, as you can see, uh, that's me, the jackrabbit. Um, and yeah, I've, I've, I've been getting, getting um, having some fun with it. And I keep going back to it, even though it was out uh, quite a while ago now, so the chance of anyone listening to this review is really remote. And thanks for listening if you do. Um, and yeah, I think, uh, yeah, I recommend you go and check it out. Um, it's not a high ranking game. I 
out of 10, I'd give it a five. I think it's probably a strong five out of 10. And then they keep introducing you know, extra DLCs for, um, you know, for the Predator. You can style your Predator's dreadlocks, which I think officially, as this is canon, um, they are called Predlocks, which is officially canon now. And they're in here and you can change your Predlocks. Um, and yeah, like I said, you can change all your weapons and stuff as well, which is quite fun. And yeah, I, I think it, it's good. It's you know, not every game has to be a forty or fifty hour campaign, and not every shooter has to be you know a kind of massive uh, multiplayer where you're upgrading everything and doing all this stuff where you've got to put in 20, 30 hours. That said, uh, be good, stay safe, and be kind to one another. Cheers.